4-H friends, thanks for joining us for another episode of Living for 4-H Fridays. Today, Miss Sarah from Guilford County is going to talk all about man's best friend, the dog. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Miss Sarah and I am here today to talk to you about owning a pet. And more specifically, we're going to talk about dogs. Doc here is going to help me talk to y'all at first. And with the help of his friends, we're going to talk a little bit more today about what you need to plan for if you're going to have a dog. Doc is a three-year-old German Shepherd, and he is a family protection dog. Now, dogs can be many different things. We have protection dogs. We also have working dogs, which can be search and rescue, uh, narcotic detection dogs, as well as apprehension. And we also have regular old, just good old family pets. And you can also have therapy dogs. Whether adopting or purchasing your dog, it's important to select the right dog for you and your family. Do you have the space or the time to commit to a high energy dog or even a puppy that might require more housebreaking and training than an older, already trained animal? Just because you have a smaller home doesn't mean you can't own a dog. It just means you might have to be a little more specific about picking a dog that meets your needs. If you're a very active person that goes for runs or walks, a high energy dog might not be a problem in a small space for you. But for others who may not have as active of a lifestyle or may not have the ability to go out and take walks with their dogs, you may need a dog that's a little bit on the slower side of things. Even if you're worried about allergies, there are actually dog breeds out there that will cause less irritation to your allergies due to growing hair more similar to a human's than a normal pet's. Having a dog in your home can help relieve stress and anxiety. It's important to notate too, you should know the laws in your current county, state, or town, as some places have restrictions on type of breeds allowed within the limits. It's also important when you're thinking about purchasing a dog to think about vet costs. Now you can't always take into account what an emergency vet office might be, but dogs are going to need yearly care. If you can't do their nails yourself, you're going to have to have those trimmed. And they do require, in North Carolina, all dogs must have an up-to-date rabies vaccine. All dogs need adequate food and water. So what that means is they need access to fresh water, especially when it's hot, and they need a complete diet. Basic obedience training is recommended for all dogs. It creates a stress-free environment when your dogs understand and can respond to basic commands and walk on a leash. Don't feel like you have to go through it alone. There are many qualified instructors and classes out there available for dog owners. Pictured here, we have a harness and a collar, both of which can be used during training with your dog. A qualified professional can assist you with understanding whether your dog will perform better with a harness or a collar. It's also important that you keep your dog groomed properly. So that means making sure they stay bathed, as well as you may need to have a brush to keep their coat nice and clean. No matter what pet or dog you choose, we know you're going to love them. Thanks for joining us and we can't wait to see you next week.